I recently added WooCommerce to my websites because I'm doing a lot with affiliate marketing and I'm testing a lot of different strategies from using Amazon Associates uh, widgets to have their grids and carousels and whatnot appear on the page to um, contextual links uh, that link out through a highlighted keyword. I'm testing um, all kinds of things. So I've got WooCommerce installed and what I, I'm really liking is the WooCommerce content blocks for WordPress Gutenberg. So if you are using WordPress Gutenberg, um, you're going to be able to do this. So watch this. I'm going to hit preview so we can actually see what my blog looks like that I'm, I'm doing right now. And then I'll take you through the couple of steps on how I did it. Um, now, some of you guys are, are along with me inside the Wealthy Affiliate um, Forum and you're learning how to build niche websites and do your affiliate marketing. This is going to be a cool strategy for that. If you want to know more about Wealthy Affiliate and the forum, um, I have a link here in this video. And if you do end up making a purchase through Wealthy Affiliate at some point, they have websites and domain registration um, keyword tools, then I do benefit. Uh, so watch this. So I've got this blog post here, and the blog is actually the best keto cookbooks. Now, I haven't finished my formatting up here yet. I'm working on adding my links. But here's what I'm able to do. So I've got the complete, I've got a list of keto cookbooks, okay? So here we have the book title, the rest of the book title, little intro, and then we have this item here. Then we have this item here. Now you could go over to Amazon, if you're an Amazon associate, and actually pull one of their widgets and use it. And that's perfectly fine to do it that way. But what I'm finding is these actually rank on the search engine. So I'm gonna get better um, potential results by putting these products onto my website directly. So let me show you what this looks like if somebody um, were to uh, let's see, that one goes right to Amazon. So let me just show you my store really quick so that you can see the actual products. I'm going to go over to here to Facebook because I just posted the link. Okay, so what you're going to see here is this is a page that has all of my keto cookbooks on it, right? So my goal is to rank for these pages. Now, I was really, and the products themselves, I was really surprised that somebody Googled, um, a specific keto shake found my website and bought it through Amazon and then bought a couple other products and and I was able to collect commission on all the products they bought and I just added that item to my store a couple days ago now my results are not typical um, I do specialize in search engine optimization and so I'm gonna probably have uh, quicker results but still, this is a really cool strategy instead of just doing that. Now, what's cool about this too is it's actually importing the items straight from Amazon. So let me show you how this works. So I'm doing this blog post over here. Um, so what book am I on now? Let me go to the next book. So the Keto Diet, I did that one. Dirty Lazy Keto, okay, keto All right, so I'm gonna space that one down. I'm making these like little quotes. I'm going to make this one a heading two. Okay, Keto Terry, now watch. So now I'm going to go up to add this little plus sign, and I'm able to go to a WooCommerce content block, and I can look for hand-picked items. So I'm going to look and see if I have added the Keto book called Keto Terrian. Now, if I have, it would pop up here. Okay, I have not yet. So here's how it works. I go over to Amazon. Oops, that's my Amazon Associates account. Hold on. I go to Amazon and I type in Keto Terrian. I'm looking for the cookbook here. There it is. So I grab the book and I grab the URL link, the long URL that's at the top. I don't need to go get my tracking code or anything, just the long URL. And I open Spreader. Spreader is an app that allows me to import items from Amazon. I'm gonna paste this here. And if I have a link to Spreader, it's in the video below. I'm gonna click Add Product. Okay, now watch this. It's gonna import it. Now, here's what's important, you guys. You need to have the paid version because 
The free version allows you to import the items, but it doesn't sync. And Amazon is really, really strict about making sure that your items are up to date. So if you put in here that the price is $12.95 and then the seller updates it to $14.95 and you don't update it, you could get your account taken away. By having a paid account, it syncs automatically. So every time there's a change made on the um, seller side, when your account does its syncing, it updates for you. So I have the paid version. I want to say it's like 12 bucks a month or something. And then there's upgrades from that. All right. So I'm going to click edit. Now you don't have to do any of the edits, but I do because SEO and, and visual, making sure my website stays aesthetically pleasing is important to me. Now, one of the first things I do is if this is a brand name, I take it out of this URL. See right here where we have my URL, ketodays.com, and then we have this after after the slash. This is called the slug after the slash. Well, a lot of um, affiliates have rules against their brand being in your URL, so I always take it out if there is one. So, for example, if this said um, uh, Joe's Jeans tight, skin tight leggings, I would take Joe's Jeans out of the URL. I'm okay having it up here. But most of them do not want their brand name in the URL because it, it looks like you're, it makes it look like you are Joe's Jeans or that you're trying to imply that you are or that you're trying to work on taking their keywords. So at the best practice, I just take it out. I also tend to shorten this. So Ketotarian, the most plant-based. Okay, so I'm just going to have this say Ketotarian. I don't need the whole title in the URL. Okay, now I also only take a summary of um here i'll take a summary and i paste it down here in this description i'll show you where this shows up and then i get rid of all that other stuff up top i'm not trying to i'm not trying to fill the page with a bunch of words and i want it to be cleaner so let me show you so now i'm going to put this in my keto cookbooks category i'm going to hit update and i'm going to show you how beautiful this is i really 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 enjoy this um, process of having products and I'm able to add now my software and other other products besides Amazon so I'm going to go to view product all right here see isn't that nice so you've got your image um, Amazon does not want you just taking their images you can't just take their images and insert them into a um, blog post as a copy and paste but you can insert the products through their API so as far as I know, that's completely compliant. So Ketotarian, here you go. And there's the description. And now look down here, related products. I really, really enjoy this, um, being able to, to do that. And then here, they click on View on Amazon. And I can tell you the reason I'm doing cookbooks is because it's one of my leading um, affiliate uh, things that brings them into Amazon and gets them shopping. I don't make a lot of money on cookbooks, pennies on cookbooks. But oftentimes when they're there, they end up buying shelves or an appliance or something like that. And so these cookbooks are a great way to lead people in. So I'm doing all of this. Oh, let's go in and let me show you how to import it into the blog real quick. So Ketotarian. So let me go back to the blog post. Okay. So now, remember, we did hand-picked products. And now I'm going to go to Ketotarian. Let's see if it's populated yet. Okay, hold on. Let me take that out so I can refresh it here. Let me save the draft. That will reload the data. I'm in draft mode, so I haven't published anything yet. Okay, now let's try this again. We'll go to add the plus sign. These are called content blocks. I'm going to add a hand-picked product, and I'm going to add Ketotarian. There it is, Ketotarian. Now, um, I like to design it uh, over here. You can make this shrink and stuff by making it a certain number of columns. You would think this would be the best, but for some reason, when it's large like that, it kind of looks a little distorted to me on desktop. So right now, I'm just kind of doing this one, making it a little bit smaller, okay? So there's Ketotarian. So now I'll hit the preview button so you can see what that looks like when we put it in. Now, if you are needing a website, um, you can join us in Wealthy Affiliate, and they have what's called Site Rubik's, 
you can get your WordPress websites, and I believe it's like 50 websites for, I don't know, $49.95 a month or something. Don't quote me, but some kind of ridiculous amount. So I'm building like a bunch of niche websites. So that's cool. Um, it's really great for the do-it-yourselfer if you can follow some steps to set up your website. I do own a digital marketing company, and we can actually help you with the setup, the integration of things like your WooCommerce, like this. Um, that's where people tend uh, tend to struggle. So my company is called Ballandbrands.com if you want to learn more about that. Um, otherwise, we I'm teaching all of this um, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Lori Ballin. I also have a website called the seven, um, the seventh stream.com, T H E seventh stream.com where I'm teaching everything about affiliate marketing. So I've got kind of this thing where I teach you or we can do it for you depending on what it is that you need. But I love this. So this is WordPress with WooCommerce. And if you shrink this down, you'll be able to see just how pretty it really is because I have not done my styling yet on desktop, but here it is on mobile. So you got your table of contents, you've got your books. All right, so those books will actually be pre-sized and the correct size on a mobile device right there in the middle. So that's a really, really cool thing. I'm gonna be monitoring this and I'll be reporting back sales and whatnot and how this is working and best practices. And I might go ahead and, and make those the large one right in the middle just to see how they, how they perform. You can also put two or three on the same row. So that's WordPress. WooCommerce and Spreader and Wealthy Affiliate. Check out the links in this video. If you do make any purchases, it does benefit me. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today.